Hi, uh, it's me again. I'm here with another video, uh, video tutorial for you guys. Um, today I'm going to show you how to set up a nice image plane so you could uh, import them into 3ds Max and use them as uh, uh, you know some sort of help to guide you to model your uh, characters or objects or whatever. I'll be I'll be showing you how to do uh, do uh, image planes for a human face because a human face would probably be the most difficult one and if you can do a human face image plane you'll probably be able to do almost anything I mean you know for uh, image planes so yeah um, I've got the pictures on uh, I've got two pictures of my uh, friend here I've got the uh, front and I've got the side and uh, basically we need to put both of these uh, image planes into uh, into one file so um, we can actually make sure the, f uh, the size and everything is uh, is accurate and you know because that that'll, if we don't do that later on we'll have problems when we want to model because uh, we, we, we will have uh, wrong image planes so what, what I'm going to do now is uh, make sure that so these two images match uh, it's really important that you when you take in uh, photos you make sure that the uh, distance and the angle of the camera is kind of same at uh, both sides but if it's not well we can use Photoshop to kind of sort that out so I'm gonna start with the front uh, picture first I'm gonna go to filter uh, by the way you need to have uh, Photoshop I think you need to have at least uh, CS3 I'm using uh, CS3 so uh, I go to fi uh, filter uh, distort and I'm gonna go to lens correction and here we'll get this so basically I'm just gonna zoom in to his eyes because eyes are probably the best part to start with basically what we need to do is make sure that the right hand side is basically leveled with the left hand side so uh, the best way to do that is to get the eyes on a straight line so I'm gonna uh, select this icon uh, uh, here where it says uh, remove distortion tool I'm gonna click in the middle of his left eye actually you know that's what well, that's the that's the um, wrong tool actually oops so I'm gonna cancel that go to filter uh, distort and lens correction and I'm gonna I think it's this one I think it's the second one yep it's that one uh, Control Z not working for some reason. Okay, so never mind. So you select the <laughs> sorry about that. You select the image. You go to filter, uh, distort, and you go to lens correction, and you select the second icon on the left hand side, which is straighten tool. Uh, I'm gonna first of all zoom in into his eyes. Select that tool, and drag from his left eye, the middle of his eye, to the right, and like that, and it will basically put his eyes on a straight line for me so now the face is kind of uh, you know straight and leveled you can you can also use I don't know the corner of the lips uh, say the corner of the eyes eyebrows whatever you like but I prefer to do the eyes uh, it's really good to mess around with some of the options here so let's see what each of them do well I don't think we'll be needing we'll need to use any of this so yeah I'm just gonna this in zero um, but with this one you might need to mess around with this because if the image is on an angle you might as well just want to mess around with this and I'm just, I'm just gonna I, th I think zero is good for this one right now I'm just gonna type in zero and but for the other one I think I'm gonna edit this a bit because I think his left side is kind of inward so I'm gonna kind of get that out so I'm gonna mess around with that and then click uh, okay but before that there is one more thing that we needed to do I think but never mind I think this is uh, kind of good at uh, right now but you might as well just want to go to remove distortion and you might just want to crank that up a bit because usually when you take an image it's kind of kind of the middle of it it's kind of it's like it's popping out so uh, you might as well just wanna uh, mess around with that maybe just increase it a bit 
so you get some this kind of shape. I'm going to click OK. So now my image is kind of ready. So I'm going to go to the uh, other side, to the uh, left side view. And what I'm going to do here is basically I'm going to uh, get my uh, rubber tool. I'm going to get the right size, get it kind of big. And I don't want too much hardness on this. And I want to go ahead and delete uh, the round parts of this, like so. Actually, what I'm going to do now is uh, hold the control and press T on my keyboard. Uh, actually, I think I need to select this tool here. Press V on your keyboard and hold control T. Oh, actually, my uh, layer is locked, so I'm going to double click on that. OK, control T. And uh, hold shift and click and drag from the top corner like that and press enter or double click or whatever you like and I'm gonna get my eraser tool and just go around his face something like that okay now what I'm gonna do is hold control and press R and bring up the rulers now I'm gonna uh, click from there and then drag down and I'm gonna place these in different positions. I'm just going to drag one down. Anywhere would do, right? So I'm going to drag and drop the other image into here as well. I'm going to get my uh, rubber tool and basically delete this. Delete some of it. Like this. Okay. That's about... That should be fine. Okay. I'm going to put this over here and I'm going to put the other layer over here. Okay. So I'm going to start with the front one because I know uh, it's uh, it's accurate. So I'm going to uh, grab this and put this first of all in the middle of the eye where the line goes through the corners of the eye here. I'm going to drag another one, put it at top of his eyebrows. As you can see, it's quite good and it's matching up. As you can see, the eyebrows and everything are matching up. I'm going to do one for his lip, middle of his lip, and I'm going to do one for his chin. And that's that looks pretty good actually if you look at it. But for the ears, ears don't always turn out to be good, but this one isn't bad actually. This one turned out to be good. But I'm going to remove the ones for ear right now. And I'm just going to stay with this. So basically what I need to do is, uh, I'm just going to lock my front one so I won't be able to move it or anything like that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to make sure that my side image matches up with my front image. So, I'm gonna, so what I'm going to do is, select it, uh, hit Ctrl T, um, I'm going to scale the chin and the eyebrows. I'm going to have these two, these two lines as my guide and I'm just going to scale this up till we kind of reach the uh, same kind of... Uh, size. So basically right now if you look at it, the eyebrows on the side image with the front image gonna match and the one the chin matches too. So I'm just gonna click and uh, hit enter there. And I'm gonna check out the rest. If you look at the eyes, well the eyes are actually kind of going through his eyes here and it's kind of going through his eyes in front as well. And the lip is the same thing with lips. So it looks quite accurate to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag another one just for his nose to make sure if his nose is in place. That's good. Uh, ears, I don't think ears would be that accurate. Actually, they're not bad. But, you know, uh, you should do ears separately. So don't worry about them. So, yeah, it looks pretty good. But sometimes you might need to rotate the side image so it matches up with, with the front image. So this is my image plane now. I'm happy with this. I'm going to go to uh, File, Save As, and I just want to save it as a Photoshop format, as a uh, PSD format. So I'm going to go to my desktop, create new, call this uh, tutorial, go to it, and 